Welcome, welcome to Mix. Welcome to Mix Metaverse, a virtual reality world in which you own the apartment and you can control the narrative of your world. And today we're going to take you through how to move inside this virtual reality world, basically a bit of a um, welcome, uh, welcome to, and just how to use the basic controls and everything. All right, so first and foremost, what is Mix? Well, Mix is a virtual reality world you can move around inside. You have a full body avatar. You can see your own hands, but everyone else can see you, like I can see myself there in the mirror. Um, when you're out about the street, you'll be able to see your avatar. Now, in Mix, you can also set up your own avatar using the Ready Player Me website. So you just go to Ready Player Me, um, and you'll be able to um, put in your GLB link. Uh, I'll take you through how to do that in a little bit, and it will spawn your uh, player in front of you, uh, and then that will put you will wear that um, avatar from that point on. Um, in Mix, you can move around using um, your left thumb stick controller. So you can move forward, back, left, uh, or sorry, that's right and left. <laughs> um, and with the right thumb stick, you can kind of spin around on a point, right? So you can kind of be moving over here, and if you want to get over there and you can't be bothered actually turning around in the real world, you can just snap turn, okay? Um, but it's also very easy just to stand on the spot and spin. You don't need to actually walk around in the real world. You can use, you can stay in the spot and use the thumbstick on the left to navigate, okay? Now, one of the other key things that you'll need to do uh, in the virtual reality world is stand up. So you can either stand up in the real world um, because if you're sitting down, you will actually appear as someone who's kind of creeping around on the ground like this. And in, in Mix, we call those people creepers. Um, you actually need to probably stand up. And it's a great opportunity to stand up. Why sit down? The only reason we used to sit down was because we had to work with computers. But now we get the opportunity to actually, you know, stand up from sitting down. Uh, enjoy the fact that uh, VR has brought us this great uh, technology <laughs> technology opportunity um, but if you still want to sit down you can there's a very easy way to do it so um, basically you uh, push the right uh, the oculus button on the right controller okay and that will bring up this menu option here you then push the clock button okay and we're just going to go into settings so you click settings um, and then you come down to accessibility mobility adjust height okay so when you adjust that height it will lift you up inside the game so you can sit down now in the real world uh, and turn that on and that will make you appear as if you're standing up in the game but I'm actually gonna be efficient and stand up anyway so I don't need to do that um, it's much more immersive to stand up in the real world that's basically the key function there right now uh, a couple of other things you can do with everything inside this world you can grab things using the side controller the side trigger sorry you can grab things so if you reach down to this bottle you can pick it up by holding the side trigger um, and then you can also release it and throw stuff okay so that's how you will interact with anything that's um, available to be picked up um, and you can also use the um, the side trigger to create a point if you need to do a button or something like that if you want to. Um, now there's lots of things that you can kind of interact with inside this world. Um, more things will come out in time, but you can have fun with all of these things and just figure out how to use them uh, pretty intuitively. Uh, my sort of three-year-old at the time was able to figure this stuff out, so I'm sure you can as well. Right. These TVs are a very important part of the Mix uh, world. Um, they are fully interactive browsers. So this is actually running the full internet. Uh, this starts on our website uh, and you just click the trigger to kind of move up and down or use the thumbstick to kind of navigate uh, the browser, the, the, the websites. Um, up here is the opportunity to go to the menu so you click that with your trigger and then you can kind of uh, choose different pages like if you want to get started like where you are now possibly watching this you'll be able to sort of uh, learn some guides or you can go to YouTube etc or at any point you can just go to Google and then that will bring up full internet at your disposal now if you want to sit down 
Uh, you can also push the A button on this controller and it will, um, when you're close to a seat, and boom, it will position you there so that even if you move around in the real world, you'll stay stuck in this seated position. That's quite handy if you want to load up Netflix or something like that. You can kick back in your couch uh, and uh, you'll be enjoying the full fruits of what the internet can bring you inside this virtual reality metaverse okay so that's basically uh the quick things there um i'll come back into another video on how to actually load your um, glb avatar in uh, just because it takes a little bit of time to explain that but there is a little bit of a guide here um, and um, you can always go to our website and uh, sort of understand get, get some guides about how to do that in the uh, from the website there um, okay so Actually, one, one other thing I need to take you through is the watch. Okay, so the watch menu, um, you take your right hand and you swipe it through the uh, watch. Okay, and then that will bring up this. Now on here, we have the ability to adjust the music volume. So you just click uh, and adjust like that. Um, browser volume, we have the ability to reload the scene. So if, if the scene crashes, if you have some trouble, you get stuck, or if you just want to restart the scene for whatever reason, you just click that button. You can turn off the uh, effects. So if you need to just basically improve a bit of performance, or it's a bit dark or a bit bloomy, you can just turn off the effects there. Um, and you can also turn on brightness, and that will help you, especially if you're recording. It's quite good. Uh, it doesn't look so dark in VR, but when you put that video on social media it will look very dark so you can actually turn on brightness uh, or turn vfx off um, and either of those will help when you are recording uh, as you can see with vfx off it's a little bit brighter um, but we've lost the bloom okay so when you have vfx on it adds that cool bloom effect and that's um, quite important as well so to turn that off you basically swipe through your watch okay so you don't push the button um, you just swipe through it and that's nice and intuitive once you get used to it okay now uh, there are mirrors all around the world and there are also doors so as uh, to, to exit a scene uh, you literally just reach out and put your right hand not your left hand your right hand through the door handle And here we are, we are in the uh, virtual reality uh, and this is now a multiplayer environment. So the room we were in at the start was your private home uh, apartment and no one else can see you in that world. You can do whatever you want, you can run around naked as an avatar, whatever. No one can see you. Out here, everyone can see you. In fact, there's a person right over there right now uh, and they are exploring the world. We could go up and have a talk to them. Um, there are ways to interact with the NPCs. I'll let you kind of uh, determine Welcome that. You basically walk in and just walk up near to them. Uh, and you also have the ability inside uh, the world to interact with the main uh, scenes, uh, uh, browsers and things like that there. And here's a perfect example of, of someone who's kind of sitting down. <laughs> so um, they're actually having a listen uh, to the conversation by the look. Uh, and yeah, you just basically walk around inside the world. Um, if you want to walk into one of the clubs, you can just walk up to the door and reach down and grab the handle. Now, each week we'll be having uh, new artists performing. Uh, in this instance, we have uh, DJ Anonymous performing a Prince set. So that's on this week. Uh, I'll just turn down the music volume uh, so that I can uh, you know, hear myself thinking. In a club, you have to have loud volume, but you can turn it down if you want to talk. Now here we go, we can basically walk around, uh, hang out with friends, this is really cool when you're with other people inside this world uh, and you're uh, effectively free to just basically go about and hang out as any other way you would at a real club. 
This is our new uh, holographic DJ technology. This is allowing streamed DJs to um, enter into our world. So this is actually a real world DJ who's being streamed into the world right now. Um, currently having a little bit of streaming troubles from time to time. It may uh, lock up, but don't worry, we'll, we'll fix that. I uh, hope you won't experience that. If you do, it may be because you're recording uh, or you may need to just uh, adjust the settings uh, to maybe turn off some functionality to, to get a bit more performance into the world but hopefully that problem will be gone very soon uh, mix is always being improved okay so this is not something which is just finished uh, this is always in development so everything is always updating that's the beauty of software um, and uh, there you go that's exactly what I was talking about so anyway hopefully that problem won't occur for you uh, and if you need to restart that uh, thing that should solve it for you all right so basically uh that's the fundamental user controls of this world um the key thing i'd like you to remember is just to be uh you know respectful to other players inside this new uh bold enterprise that we're creating the mix universe the metaverse uh and um help others who don't know how to use the game if you have any uh particular queries or any any questions that you want to ask um you can contact us at us at uh, thunder.studio uh, and or just hit us up on our website um, and uh, if you have any uh, sort of specific needs there's a chat box inside any of the browsers so uh, if I just quickly shoot over here I can uh, push this button here and some of the clubs will have an open browser button so you just push that button it will pop up a browser and then if I shoot over here just down in the right corner there, you've got a Let's Chat box, uh, and that should open up a uh, dialogue to allow you to chat with um, the, you know, the team, and we'll, we'll get back to you and help you best we can. So yeah, uh, that's all for now. I'll come back and do some uh, guides about how to use the GLB, uh, Ready Play Me stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, just, just have fun. That's all this is. Just a bit of fun. Cheers.